Today we'll do a little exercise in game sense, particularly the part where we can deduce where our target might want to be at a given time. In Dota, the better player you are, the more moments like these you will be able to notice on your own during a live match. And a good way to train to spot these conditions is to pause any replay that is relevant to you and break down specific scenarios. So let's break down this one. Currently, our team is leading the network race by a small bit, and the enemy mid and safe lane tower is gone. Naturally, for the Radiant team, any camps close to the river become unsafe. That means that any Radiant core that wants to focus on farming will only be able to do so safely on the creep waves near the tower and the triangle, provided that sufficient vision is available and the top tower remains standing. Now what happens next is that the Juggernaut dies. We can't learn much from this particular kill, because I had Arcane Rune and this means that I can do a large mana efficient jump and kill Jug before anyone that might be lingering in the triangle or anyone with a teleport can respond. Without Arcane, the area is simply too risky to attempt a kill. What I do want to focus on is how can we predict where will the Jug go next. Let's reassess the information we have on the map and include the newly gained intel from the Jug kill. Now, let me emphasize that anything I'm saying here is merely speculation, educated guesses from my current assessment of the match, in this moment. Different players in different MMR ranges might act differently, and as such you might need to adjust your thought process. Anyway, in this match the jug kill will most likely result in the enemy lingering around the triangle, partly to defend the top tower, partly to repel any repeated attacks if the jug decides to TP back mid. So, what information do we have? Jug has Battle Fury, he wants to farm, not fight. The safest place remains the triangle and anything close to the still standing towers, either wave or the jungle creeps. I'm making an educated guess that the Jug is least likely to farm the triangle, because our team is zoning in on the tower pretty fast, and with the rest of the Radiant team converging there, it is likely they are already farming the triangle themselves, leaving Jack only with the other two options. Teleporting mid doesn't look too appealing, because an educated guess from Jack's perspective would tell him that Storm is most likely close to his team in case the fight breaks down top. So, Jack will want to avoid the scenario which has already happened. This leaves the bot lane and the question is lane or jungle. Lane creeps are pretty far so Jack can grab a camp first until he spots Storm on the map to decide whether to farm the lane or not. Let's see if our assessment is correct. No whining now. And there we go, by breaking down the map's info in real time, we have successfully predicted where our target will go next. As I said before, this might not always be the case, but a good thing is that we often don't risk anything if the play doesn't pan out. If the target doesn't show where you think he would, or if he has too many options to choose from, making a prediction hard, feel free to select another objective to work on. This concludes today's topic. Good luck!